see a line. I see a line of people. And they're just swaying back and forth. They're all in chains. They all look so dead and dull. And the atmosphere feels really heavy. I felt terror and I have felt despair. But this is something else. This feels heavier. I didn't even know this type of terror existed on the earth. Michael. Why are you here? Michael, you understand your whole family is on the other side, waiting for you. Michael, the people on this line, you do understand where they're going. Do you understand where they're gonna get thrown into? Your name wasn't in the book of life. You were a leader. You were up there preaching. You were up there singing. What am I going to tell your family? I don't know. I just remember that I just shut my eyes. I woke up and I was standing in front of the throne. And there were these giant angelic beings, man. You don't understand. These things are real. I was standing before the great white throne. And he's... And then... After that, they said that my name wasn't in the book of life. And he said, because I was lukewarm, that I was neither hot or cold. And he said that he spat me out. And that he blotted my name. And then I found myself on the other side. And on the other side, there was a lot of people that were panicking. And I was panicking also. And I was just screaming, I'm not supposed to be here. I'm not supposed to be here. I went to church. I went to church. I went to a Christian church. I went to the right kind of church. I surrounded myself with the right type of people. You gotta help me. You gotta help me. Come on. Vouch for me. Tell them that I was a good person. Time and time again, we would tell you to get right with God. We told you to drop what you were doing. We told you to stop living in sin. But you would just laugh it off. We told you that being lukewarm would spit you out of your mouth. But in your mind, it was so desensitized. Because you didn't see what was bound to happen after you died. But now you're here. Now you're here. You didn't make it. First you go to hell. And then sometime later, you get thrown into the lake of fire. Oh, I don't want to see you burn. planning on waking up the next morning but I didn't like I told you I shut my eyes and what felt like a magnet pulling my soul out of my body was the last sensation that I ever felt my friend this is it nothing happens anymore nothing exists anymore there will never be anything ever again. You won't ever see anyone you were close to. You will be thirsty, hungry, tired, in pain, and in torment beyond what your human capacity could ever handle before resulting in natural death. God is the source of all the good, rest, living water, and the bread of life. 
But God is not here. There's nothing anymore after here. This is the definition of the end. This is the second death. loved you enough to take your place on the cross 2,000 years ago so that you wouldn't end up in the very place you just witnessed. That place is a real place. And people die every day without receiving the free gift that I left for them of salvation. Now, I'm giving you one more opportunity to repent and turn to me, son. What are you going to do with your life?